Hey guys, so you're back with Stephen Jenkins here in my trusty little old van uh, in Hilo, Hawaii. And basically, what I thought about this morning was, you know, a lot of people, uh, when they wake up, they do different things. And um, a lot of you probably wonder, what does Steve Jenkins do? It's really interesting when I travel with people or when they hang out with me. And I welcome any of you to hang out with me. And I mean, I've, I've had numerous people come and meet with me as you know if you look at my vlog vlogs you'll see brian and kathy you'll see izzy k you'll see james you'll see different people and in fact uh mariah is going to be coming and hanging out and another friend and we're going to be looking at this uh this farm to see what permaculture stuff we can do but every single person i hang out with when they wake up they have a different sort of uh, set of things that they do some jump up and go jogging uh, Jason over here in this house He he jumps up he goes in his Jeep. He goes down to the ocean body surfing You know all of those are healthy things um, What I do and I've been doing this since I was a kid um, What I do is the first thing is I Stretch so as soon as I know I'm awake I stretch. It's really important to do this, and I could go into a long lecture on how important it is to stretch. Twist your back. It opens up the, uh, stretches the ligaments and the muscles, and, and be sure and go back and forth so the spine lets fluid in around the uh, discs and stuff like that. So stretching is good. The next thing I do, um, I will... Sometimes I do this in reverse, depending on how thirsty I am. And so right now I'm just waking up and I'm really thirsty and I just opened my eyes. Um, so it's like this. If I don't have to go to the bathroom really, really super bad and I, I'm i just waking up and stretching, I'll, I'll roll over on my knees and I'll pray. Um, but most times I feel like I have to go to the bathroom. Or if I don't, um, I'll drink some water and I will. But basically, nature calls, you know, so you just have to do what you have to do. Um, and that's what happened this morning. So uh, I don't have a bathroom. I haven't had a restroom in, in years. So I hike, you know, up into the mountains here. I find um, some good soil and I find, I don't like to use shovels and stuff like that. I find... Uh, sticks and things that I can dig holes with and uh, I'm a nature boy when I was a young kid people called me nature boy so when I travel the world when people say oh we don't have a bathroom you know um, I've never found it inconvenient to not have a bathroom in fact I don't think I have maybe three or four times sat on a toilet seat in my entire life so I'm, I'm a little bit different anyway I pray, I drink water, and so this morning I'm waking up, I'm just, just going to share this time with you. So I just woke up, I uh, hiked up into the mountains because I realized I had to use the bathroom. And uh, I have regular bowel movements three times a day, which is how many, t usually I only eat twice, so it's more than I eat. But basically you should have whatever goes in should come out uh, equal amount and equal times. Uh, maybe not the exact same time, but the amount of times. And so, right now, I'm going to drink some water before I pray, because I'm really thirsty. I've never drank coffee in my life. Never, ever, ever. You see, coffee, there's, you know, liars know how to figure, but figures never lie. And, uh... There's always some new campaign or advertising, you know, concept to, to say that things are good when they're not, like caffeine or chocolate or coffee. And uh, people analyze it and say, oh, there's antioxidants in it. There's antioxidants in alcohol and, and wine. Doesn't mean the wine is good. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, you're watching this. I know you're saying, oh, come on, people drink wine and it's good for their heart and blah, blah, blah. Oh, come on, don't be an idiot. Wine is full of antioxidants because of the grape seeds, because of the grapes, not because of the alcohol. Alcohol doesn't have proanthocyanidin. Um, so 
coffee, yeah, of course there's going to be antioxidants, but basically the seeds of the coffee fruit, which I've enjoyed around here, coffee grows, this is near Kona, Hawaii, um, I enjoy the, the berries. I, I will eat those berries and spit out the seed because the seed, God made the seed to grow another plant, not to eat. Typically seeds have things like caffeine or um, tannins or tannic acid. It's, it's not a direct poison per se for a human. It is a poison for an insect or a bug if the seed falls into a raw sewer just teeming with, with life. Um, that seed will repel those bugs until it can grow and it'll continue to grow so that's the purpose I believe of of that uh, of, the, of the designer for those seeds and those plants and coffee cacao the fruits delicious I love chocolate fruit but the seeds are what people use to make the uh, the chocolate flavor which is has a number of compounds. In fact, um, there is a doctor, is it uh, Neil Bernard, I think, that talks about it. And she says, well, chocolate is kind of like the pharmacy all, all in one. He goes down the list of all the chemicals and all the drugs that are in chocolate, small amounts, pleasure, uh, sensory chemicals. So, you know, water flushes you. It hydrates the cells. We're made out of water. So, 75% of our body approximately is water. So just pure clean water and to get the best I can. Some people would freak out over the fact I'm drinking out of a plastic bottle. Yeah, um, get it out of glass. Get it from the, the rain where there's no, uh, you know, nothing in the sky. Um, this world is, is falling apart. It's really hard to get things clean and pure. especially when traveling but if you get your sleep you pray you trust God you do the best you can get the best stuff um, you'll be head above other people okay so I'm just gonna say a little prayer here maybe you can join me now when I pray I I can pray long lengthy prayers about personal stuff but you know, I usually start out something like this. Dear loving Heavenly Father, Lord, today I, I just want to say good morning and I love you. And Lord, I, I want to ask for your help. I, I feel so, so small and unworthy of the grace and the blessings that you have given me since I was a child. And this morning and today, as I live, I don't want to live for myself. I want to live for you. And I know that I can live for you by living for others. Looking for opportunities to bless other people. And Lord, I don't want to enable them. I just want to, to be a witness to them so that they would see something in me that would spark an interest in knowing how and where I get the strength that I have to go through life facing the obstacles. And Lord, and then I would give them always the answer, which is you. Dear Jesus, as I meet with um, this precious person, Mariah, and her friend over this weekend and next week, I ask that you would help me to show kindness and to be kind and to to be a blessing in her life. Lord, I know that I've failed you in, in many ways. And I ask that you would forgive me. And Lord, if I've failed people, I ask that you would give me an opportunity to meet up with those people so that I would be able to to tell them I'm sorry. Thank you, Lord, for this Sabbath. We know that the Sabbath is made as a blessing for mankind, for me. I know you made it for me, Lord. 
And Lord, I know that hundreds, thousands, and potentially millions of people could be watching this, this video as I'll upload this. So Lord, I don't want to be praying because I know people are watching. I want to be praying, focusing on you. So help me now as I, I talk to you, Lord, to, to be able to connect in a, in a close way to where you, you, Lord, know my heart. You know everything about me. Lord, although I've never gotten into to drugs and alcohol and uh, some of the things that so many people struggle with, I have my, my failings. And Lord, you know the deep down struggles that I deal with. Lord, now that this boat is sunk here and I'm on the big island, help me to know how to be responsible. Help me to know what to do before I leave so that I wouldn't leave in the wake of something that happened that was so wrong. And the Lord, I would, I would just be responsible for my own actions, that I would be responsible for um, holding others accountable, if that's your plan, so that there would be less um, possibility of others getting hurt. We know so many have, have gotten hurt. The young boy on YWAM ships and this, this elderly man leaving from Kwai Hai. And, and the other gentleman who came in and was pushed out and committed suicide, Lord. We know there's so much difficulty in the waters around the Hawaiian Islands, especially in the Kona area. Lord, you know what was on the hearts and minds of all of those individuals. You know what really happened and what's behind everything. Lord, if it's your will, help the, the people that are behind all of this evil or that participated in it, to be touched, to at least give this almost $6,000 back so that the Filipino mission could not be hurt so bad by this experience. Lord Jesus, if you could use this experience, I know all things work together for good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose, your purpose, Lord. I love you, and I want to be serving you and called according to your purpose. So many captains, this captain I ran into up at Ocean View, Lord, I pray for him that he would seek you in a special way. And you know his heart, you know his trials. He may not believe in you, but you believe in him, Lord. Lord, Ed... This man that gave the boat to our ministry, he doesn't believe in you. But Lord, you believe in him, and you made him. Lord, please help this experience to be an experience that would not make you look bad, That would, but that would show the world and show this community, show the community of Kona, show Pastor Is, Pastor, um, all the different spiritual leaders, and um, Rick Gaffney, the Harbor, DLNR, and all these different people, that they would see something good come from this, Lord, but that they would realize that the truth will set us free. Lord, help them to come forward and tell the truth and to be honest in this situation and to be responsible and to make effort to, to do what's right, to do, to do the right thing. Lord, as I 
Say, wake up now. 